Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I'm down a little pond today with the KEHRC K11 Turbo. I think me and Matt figured out why this drone gets a bit of jello. And it's what we figure, guys, is because the props, how they're mounted, there is a little bit of play in the props itself um, where they connect to the mounts. So I'm going to try and eliminate that. I've already fixed one prop. I've got it nice and tight, but I just didn't have room to do the other two today. So by the time I fly this next time, I will have this all sorted out and we'll see if it eliminates the jello. But right now we're just going to fly it and uh, see how the telemetry is on this drone because I'm going to send this one out to where I had it last time, which it said it was a thousand meters. And uh, I'll bring it back, land it, and then we'll send the Mini 3 out. And uh, we know that one has correct telemetry. So let's start a screen recording. I'm ready to go with the drone here. And we will enter the VS GPS Pro app. I'm going to turn you guys this way because I have to calibrate the drone here. Once it connects first, guys. Okay, we're connected. So we are going to format this SD card first. Start the format. Watch what type of card you're putting in this too. That's why it wasn't recording to the SD card to, for me uh, when I first got this. It uh, seems to not like the high-end high cards. So I've got a uh, U1 in it right now, and I think this is the card that it uh, likes to record to. Okay, so calibration. Start the horizontal. There we go. Back in. And compass calibration. I've got Laura in the car. If you hear someone talking, that's who it is. And turn the drone up. There we go. Okay, guys, we are ready. Let's see if our gimbal is acting up here. Okay, it seems to be working correctly now. Sometimes when I take off, it won't let you pan down without the gimbal kind of shifting sideways. So we'll see how it is when we get it in the air, but right now, let's start recording. There we go. And sticks down and in, start the motors, and up we go. It's very stable, very stable, guys. So is the camera gonna pan correctly yes it is okay so you can see right now we're not seeing any jello it's slightly breezy here not bad though maybe two three kilometer an hour so hopefully we don't get any jello at all guys just putting the camera down there so we can see the road we'll wait till those cars pass and then we will make our way out there we go. We're pushing forward. See, there's quite a bit of water over there. I'm going to gain some altitude too. Put the camera up. It's pretty good today. I'm not seeing any jello, guys. No jello today. But I really think I'm going to have to do that to the other three props. What I did was add little circles of uh, a thicker paper in down around the hole where the prop connects and it took all of the play out of them so that open field up ahead is where i flown to last and that was reading a thousand meters i highly doubt it's a thousand meters i think this drone just doesn't read correctly Telemetry. It's saying 191 meters right now. 
But I'm telling you guys, when I got there last time, you'll see that video too. That'll be posted before this one. The telemetry was reading a thousand meters up there, but it can't be because it's uh, it's only roughly 250 right now. And I'm coming pretty close to that open field. I'm guessing probably 300, maybe a little over 300 meters when I hit that field. We're going to change speed settings here. There's our second race. Yeah, now it's reading 500 meters, so it's telemetry just can't be correct. 600. 700. Yeah, there's no way, guys. There's no way that's correct. We'll find out anyway when I send the mini up here. 9. And we'll stop at when it hits a thousand. Right there, that's a thousand and twenty-three. It's saying, but that's not correct. I can still see the drone. So we are going to return to home. That drone should start coming backwards. There we go. Let's initiate it. Return to home. It looks like I'm just starting to see a little tiny bit of jello. But overall, it's pretty good. A nice, stable picture. Looks really good today. Sometimes you can't tell until you get home and take the footage off the SD card anyway, guys. It's hard to tell on a little phone when it's just slightly giving a bit of jello. It is quite a distance, but I can't see it being a thousand meters. I'm just about back now. The drone is right here. The camera down a little bit. Right above me, guys. Pan down more. That's it. That's all it has to pan down. We'll see how it is today for uh, landing on that pad. I'll turn you guys this way and my uh, tripod's giving out on me. So, yeah, you can see the pad. I'll stand back here, guys. So it comes down very slow, saying 22 meters, 21, 20, it's about a meter a second. And I think it's going to be a little off. But overall, it's a decent drone. We will see if we can eliminate every bit of jello out of this. Yeah, it's quite a bit off here. It's going to be quite a few feet away from the pad. Six feet, I guess. A little more, maybe eight feet. But still pretty good, pretty good. Stop recording. Okay, guys, so... We know how this one goes, and uh, you've seen where I've flown to. I will now set the Mini 3 up, and we'll send it out to the same area and see what the telemetry reads. So I'll catch you guys right back when I get this set up. Okay, guys, I am ready to go. I'm going to start a screen recording again. And back to the DJI Fly app. We have 11... Yeah, 11, 15 Home point satellites. updated. Okay, there we go. So let's put it on video and start recording. And let's take off. Take off. Home point updated. Okay. So up and out we go.
So exactly where we were is that open field you can see up the top of the screen. Just about 200 meters, there we go. I don't even think it's 500 meters, so that telemetry is way off. Yeah, we're 300. Four hundred, and I think this is where we stopped, guys. Four hundred and fifty meters. So yeah, the telemetry is way off on uh, the K eleven. It's nowhere near what it says. It's about half of what it says. Yeah, we didn't go any further. I don't think we were. We'll push a little further anyway. But. Uh, We'll see. We'll see when I get home and measure these two up, but I think right where I just showed you guys is where I stopped. I don't think I went this far. That's that's 700 meters, and that's max, too. I can just barely see it. It's a dot in the sky. So I'm going to come back. So there you have it guys, we know the telemetry is nowhere near correct as what it's showing on the screen on that K11. But still, it's a pretty decent drone for what you pay for it. 250 Canadian, I believe Matt got it for 150, which is uh, British pounds. And US dollars, it's around the $200 mark, so. Still a decent drone for all the options included on that, for the price you pay. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Leave a like and a comment. Make sure those notifications are on so you don't miss these videos. And until the next one, peace and out.